If you want to get a tight and flat midsection, you can't just be doing planks. You need to know how to train all the parts of your abs. I am going to show you the movements you need to know, the four best exercises to train them, and how to properly perform them. We are going to divide the video into lower, upper, side, and the most important one, the deep ab muscles. The main movements the lower abs make are flexion of the spine, in this case the lower part of your spine, and also tilting your pelvis backward. The muscle that does these movements is the rectus abdominis. If this muscle is underdeveloped, you can have the lower part of your belly sticking out. Here's the best way to train it. Modify the leg raise. Either put your hands under your hips or hold on to something behind you. This will make the exercise a bit easier. Bending your knees will also help a lot to make the movement less heavy. Otherwise, if you want to make it heavier, extend your knees. Try to lift your butt off the floor. Always breathe out when contracting your abs. If you're just raising your legs and your butt does not go off the floor, you are actually not activating your lower abs. You will be mainly training your hip flexors. Like the lower part, the upper abs also do flexion, except more in the upper part of the spine. And this is done by the same muscles, just muscle fibers that are higher up in the rectus abdominis. Training these muscles will help you define your midsection. This is the best exercise, crunch. Either put your hands on your knees to make the exercise a little easier, or stick them out to add some resistance to the movement and make it harder. You can also hold the weight to add even more resistance to the movement. Only lift your upper back from the floor. Keep the movement slow and controlled. Avoid pulling from your neck by keeping your chin tucked in. Also, don't make it a full sit-up because you won't isolate the abs like this. Instead, all the muscles will take over. Just keep the movements small and controlled. There are two movements the side abs make, which are lateral flexion and rotation of the spine. The muscles that do these movements are the internal and the external obliques. If your oblique muscles are working properly, it will help you get a thinner waist and help tighten up the sides of your midsection. One thing to keep in mind with training obliques is, for a thinner waist, the most important thing is muscle activation. So you don't need to train this heavy or often. Because if your obliques get very muscular, your midsection may get a bit wider. Here is the number one exercise, side crunch. You can adjust the difficulty of the exercise by using the arm that is positioned on the floor. If the exercise is too difficult, use your arm to help you to do the movement. If you feel it in the side of your abs, you know you are doing it correctly. Lift your bottom shoulder from the floor and try to add the rotation in the movement for an even better contraction. Do this by aiming your elbow upwards and then to the front. Keep your leg from moving to make sure all the muscles are not compensating. I often see that people do not do a full range of motion with this exercise, which looks like this. Most of the time this means the exercise is too heavy and you should use your arms more. Trust me, make it a bit lighter will actually give you way more results. You will feel a better burn in a bigger area of your muscle if you use a full range of motion. When you pull in your stomach, this movement is done by your deep abs, the transverse abdominis. The fibers of this muscle are different than other muscles. They are meant to be contracted a bit with everything you do. This protects your spine so you don't hurt your back while lifting. And it also helps a lot with creating a smaller waistline. This is how you train it. Stomach vacuum. Start by breathing in deep. And then breathe out as much as you can. Then pull in your belly button and try to hold it for 30 seconds. You should be feeling a contraction in the lower part of your abs. 
and you may even feel it going all the way around toward your back. The biggest mistake I see with this exercise is people lifting up their rib cage like this. When you do this, you are actually using mostly your chest and neck muscles. Instead, keep your ribs low by relaxing your neck and shoulders when breathing out. Once your transverse abdominus is activated, you will start to use it with every single exercise. One sign that it is not yet working correctly is when your rectus abdominus makes a bulge when doing ab exercises. And it's a sign that you need to do some more stomach vacuums. If you liked the information in this video, I think you will like this video as well.